Rush hour road rage leads to gunfire on I-435 in Johnson County. It was a loud bang and then it sounded like somebody like hit my car with a hammer. That man was shaken but unharmed after his car became a target for an angry driver. And he spoke with our Caroline Sweeney and she's live tonight in Overland Park. Caroline, how frightening. I know listening to that story, it just sounds scary and police tell me they know who shot at a man at this busy intersection of 435 in Overland Park, but no arrests have been made yet. And for the victim, that one gunshot has changed how he looks at driving and staying safe on the road. Came out through the inside panel and ended up going through that back seat right below the headrest. That's how Eric says his car now has a bullet hole in the back left door. Passenger opened the door, then held up a gun and just shot one bullet at the back door. Police do not have anyone in custody, and Eric did not want to show his face or his house, afraid the people who shot at him might come back. Driving home on westbound 435 Wednesday night, Eric says the two cars were not together long during busy rush hour traffic before the single shot rang out. I've never seen that car before or the people. Eric says he was near this intersection when the two cars started pulling around each other, trading places until the exit ramp. That's when the shooting happened. It all happened within like two minutes because it looked like they got on on state line and I'd gotten on on Warnell. The bullet went straight through the back door of his 2009 Acura. The impact of the shot peeled the white paint away from the door and left the stuffing exposed on the inside panel. Probably going to need a back door and a new back seat. Investigators were not able to find the bullet, and Eric says he's glad he was alone. Somebody would have been in the back seat, probably would have hit them in the neck or the face, maybe. Now, Eric says he'll think again before reacting on the road. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to engage in any kind of like road battles at all. I'm not going to get competitive. Just if somebody cuts me off, just going to slow down and let it go. Now, Eric does admit that he pulled around that other car aggressively, but he says pulling a gun on someone while they're driving is an overreaction to what happens on the road. Live in Overland Park, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Caroline.